Hey, what's up DIY from Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking TVs today and hopefully we're going to help answer the question, why won't Best Buy or Geek Squad or almost 100% of the TV repair technician shops not want to replace your front panel or screen? Let's take a look. All right, DIYers, in front of us is a 55-inch Samsung TV and we're going to do our best to answer the big question, is replacing a damaged or cracked panel or front screen worth the time and money? Check it out. We've got vertical lines that lead all the way down to the bottom. And unfortunately, what's that look like? That looks like an impact point. And you may not have experienced an impact point. Believe it or not, this is unfortunately more common than you think. This can actually happen just by turning the TV on and off over the years. So we made a couple calls. We called Geek Squad at Best Buy. We've called a few TV repair shops. And guess what? None of them replace panels or screens anymore. And so we dived even further into why, and believe it or not, the price of the panel itself makes up about 85 to 90% of the price of the TV. And that's a lot of money. Because with that said, once you separate the panel or screen, you're left with a bunch of plastic, a real thin layer of aluminum, a couple of motherboards and some screws you can get at your local hardware store. And obviously your plastic back panel that hides all the internal portions and parts of your TV. In addition, the price to replace a panel costs a lot of money for the manufacturer. Not only do they have to manufacture the screen, when it comes time to ship it to the customer, they have to really wrap that screen up and protect it. Basically the same as a brand new TV. And again, that costs some money. And with that said, unfortunately, as it makes its way through the shipping process and to the customer. Unfortunately, manufacturers were getting calls from customers saying it arrived damaged. And at that point, it becomes a battle between the customer and the manufacturer. And it just got to a point where the manufacturers thought, you know what, we're not going to do this anymore because it is no longer cost effective and it causes too much drama. And as I mentioned earlier, Geek Squad does not replace panels or screens. And almost every single TV repair shop you talk to, they will not do it either. However, However, you may find someone that says, you know what, yeah, bring your TV in, we'll get the serial number, part number, model number, and we'll look up what it costs for a brand new panel. And what you'll always run into, unfortunately, is the price of the replacement panel is astronomical and it basically will lead you to throw the TV out and go buy yourself a brand new TV. So again, I just wanted to talk about the big question, is replacing the panel worth it? Believe it or not, what we are thinking about doing is spending the money and getting a replacement panel. We found a store online that sells one, in our case, $530. And we are waiting for a call back from them. And so we are going to do our best to get our hands on one and get it shipped to us and replace this because we want to make a video for your convenience showing you how to replace a panel. So definitely check out the link scrolling above. Hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. And down below in the comments section, as well as the description section is a link to our TV replacement playlist and that has a bunch of videos that will definitely be helpful and beneficial to you as you move through the journey on trying to figure out how to get your TV fixed. Hopefully we'll see you there.